Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to make a basic tile game um, tile engine, whatever you want to call it it's very very simple pretty much what we're going to be covering is scrolling maps um, collision detection things like that, I get a lot of messages about collision detection and people get lost and it's easy to so it's nice to have someone to tell you how to do it I'm just going to show you uh, the program that we're going to make. This is it. It's just collides with this, and there's layering. So this is a tile sheet. It only has three tiles on it. Um, it's actually from Elder Sip Mage tile sheet. Uh, I just used this because it was it was better than trying to do my own graphics, and I, I only need something simple to demonstrate this. The idea of this tutorial is that I'm going to make this, I'm going to show you how to make this very basic tile engine and you can go and expand that into an RPG or a platformer or anything that is tile based pretty much. Um, or at least give you a good head start. So I'll be putting the entire project up for download, I'll put a link down below and you can download that and get the content folder out of it so let's get, let's, let's get started I'll create a new project Windows game call it tile game and uh, I'm going to put it in here Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is add all the content I'm going to use. So, maps, folder, sprites, add another, fol add another folder, and textures, white oh, tile sheets, or anything like that. So, the maps that I'm going to add are it's just a text file. Um, it's down here. You can get this all from from the download, so, so you don't have to do it. There is one thing I want you to do to this text file. Yeah, click on that and it shows you the properties. The build action you're going to need to set to none and do not copy, set to copy always. That just means it's not going to treat it as if it is code or anything, it's just going to leave it there and you can do with it what you want. So. The player is just a box, it's a 32 by 64 box. And the texture is that tile sheet that I was telling you about. Let's see if I can change the view so you can see it. Yep. Grass and the fence. And that's it. Okay, so that's all our content. So I'm gonna create a new folder under the tile game. I'm gonna call it level. Because that's where that's our level what our level um, is going to be. We're going to anything to do with the level. We're going to put it in here. So I want you to create a new item. It's going to be code, and I want you to call that layer. Okay. So that this is what we're going to do in the first. In the first. Um, we're going to show you. So we need to get our using statements, and the using statements we're going to be using are framework, input, and graphics. So the first thing I want you to do is make this a public class, and we're going to declare the layer array. All right. So public int. I'm going to call that a layer. Actually, I'm going to just 
pause for a second and increase the font size because people have told me that okay so I just increased the font size there because uh, I've had people say that the font size is a bit small to see on YouTube in my other tutorials which I recommend you actually watch before you do this because the level that I've created there I've actually used that, that map editor to do it so it uh, means you can work away with that so now I want to declare the map and tile dimensions so int map width map height tile width and tile height ok we're going to create the, the constructor for the layer object I'm just going to copy these down. This should be a fairly short tutorial series because there's not a lot in this to be honest. So we're just going to set the instance variables. Is that map height equals map height? This dot map width equals map width. So basically, we're just adding the constructed values, setting these values to the the parameter values that are passed. Tile width equals tile width, and we also want to construct the new layer. The, the layer for the, the integer array new and we want to make that map width by the map height ok and the only other thing that we actually need in this is the a load layer function so public void load layer and we want to pass a stream reader object so that we can read from text files called obj reader pretty much we'll put this in a try and catch If there's a problem, like you can't find the file, then we'll just output it to the console. Console top right line. There was an error loading that map. Okay. So we just want to populate the layer array. So fill up the array with the values we're loading from the text file. So we need two for loops. Change up the map height. And the last line that we want to read it, we do, we want to do it is this. So set the layer value in the array from this as we're going through. Convert the read, the read in a line, and convert it to an integer. Store it in the array. That's pretty much what that means. So we'll continue on in the next video then. <coughs>